Hi, this is Jerry with I Love RV Life. I've got a new product to share with you. Have you been wanting to install a new backup camera on your RV, but the installation was going to be extremely difficult? This is the new Halo View Handy 7. You're not going to believe how simple this install is going to be. Hi, this is Jerry. And if you've been watching our channel for any time, you know that uh, I'm a big fan of the Halo View camera system for RVs. Uh, we've reviewed two products. I will put links up here at the top uh, for both of those. One is the RD7, and it's made specifically for very long RVs where you have to transmit your rear camera to the front and it's got a uh, amplifier that you can extend your range and we absolutely love it. It's fantastic. We did a second project to where we installed a front camera and two side marker cameras and again those links will show you both of those installs. We just love these Halo View systems. They're very stable. The picture quality is absolutely spectacular. And I was just recently contacted by Halo View and they said we've got a brand new product that's come out and this is for difficult installations or for someone who is not quite as handy or just wants something very, very simple to install that backup camera. And they have created this product called the Handy 7. What's really unique about this, you get the same large 7 inch 720p monitor. It's a big large monitor like this. It's just like a big giant rear view mirror that you can use. That's what I have in my, in my uh, 350 ton truck and just it's absolutely fantastic. But what's really interesting about this product is how you install the back camera. It requires no external power. You got that right. No external power. It's battery operated. It's reported that it's good for about six to seven hours. And for Joan and I, that's about as long as we're gonna to wanna to tow. So we'll see how this thing is gonna perform. I'm gonna be installing this on Julie and Josh's camper. And uh, I think it's gonna take right around an hour. <laughs> you got that right, an hour. And that might even be an hour with camera changes and so forth. It's crazy simple. Let me open this package up and show you what's inside. I think, I think you're going to find this pretty interesting. All right, let's look inside the box. It's, um, it's really well packaged and uh, it, it does you know, come from overseas. So let's open this up, bear with me. Uh, you'll notice that uh, it comes with a couple important items. You get a user manual, that's important. Um, you actually get two user manuals. Uh, one's a little bit more detailed, one's based on the installation and so forth. But look at the products that are in here now. Again, I'm going to show you uh, this is the same size monitor that we're using inside our RV. Big, look at this. Big, you can see, I'll put it in front of my body here. You can see how large it is. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, they've got a couple different adapters. Uh, we use this guy here and just plug it into you know, a 12 volt accessory outlet. And the nice thing about it is it's got an on, on, off switch that's built into it. So uh, it just plugs right in. I, like, I really like that. Uh, <clears throat> it has two antennas. So you've got a long antenna that goes on the monitor and then a short antenna. This goes on the monitor, the big long one. And then a short antenna that goes on the camera in the back. You'll see how that all installs. Then we have a couple extra cables that we have here. This is called a pairing cable. And uh, then we have a, another power cable that uh, can be used here. So there's a couple different cables that we can use. If you choose to mount this like I did, I actually mounted mine on the big armrest. Um, you've got a, they provide you with a couple different ways to do this. This is a screw bracket. Um, and I'm not sure what Josh is going to want, but this is a screw bracket. You can pop a couple screws and the, and the uh, monitor sits inside of it like so, like that. You can do that, and that's what I did. If you look at those videos that I shown earlier, or they provide this now. This is new. This is a, a suction cup mount that uh, you can put uh, on either one of those round pads that you can glue uh, and use that. Um, and then that just sticks right on it or you can stick it to your windshield. Um, and this slides in a track like so. And then you tighten that down for whatever height that you want. So I'm thinking this is what Josh is going to want to use. Uh, we have a 
power power brick that they provide because this is what's so unique. This, let me get this out, this is the camera. So it's the camera that you've been seeing uh, before. These cam camera qualities are absolutely fantastic. They have uh, uh, infrared IR on them so that you can see at night and it's not too bad. It's it's reasonable. It's not fantastic But it it works pretty good with a little bit of headlight out there. It looks fantastic uh, We're not riding that much at night and then you can see this is where the uh, where the antenna goes This is the big massive battery that you'll notice right here very large battery and here is your charge port and it goes on like so. So how do you install this? Well, if you have a if you have a metal surface on the back of your camper, it just snaps right up to it. But what they provided us with is two of these 3M metal plates. And this is what we're gonna be using. We actually have a composite finish on our camper that we'll be using. You ready for this? I <laughs> hope I can get it off once I stick it on there. And it snaps on and I mean that baby is on there so uh, this is what we're going to attempt to use and wow being that I don't have a oh that thing is really on there so what you will do is when you get to your location uh, after you or before you take off on your trip you're going to plug this in and charge it overnight and get a good battery charge snap it onto the back of the camper go down the road when you get to your destination pull it off plug it back in and charge it and uh, it remembers it remembers uh, the pairing that's going to be on here and um, you just pop it off and pop it back on no wires to run just peel and stick on the back of your camper <laughs> i think i think this is going to be pretty cool well as far as technology this is pretty cool we're using these exact same cameras in our install and we're really impressed with the quality we're using the exact same monitor and again the quality is very very good um, this will run multiple cameras if you want to expand it i think it can handle up to four but we're only going to be using this one install is going to be very very simple just think about it stick it snap it don't forget to charge it up overnight punch the button and once you sync this with your monitor even if you lose your power it's just a snap it comes right back in seconds it's a really pretty amazing product i'm really impressed with the halo view folks okay we're going to charge this guy up i'm going to call julie and josh we're going to head over and install this thing i don't think it's going to take any time at all this is going to be a pretty cool install come on let's go we're in Josh's uh, F-250, and uh, Josh has determined that he wants to go with the windshield mount, and I think this is the easiest thing to do. This is a really, what is this, Josh? What kind of, this is a King Ranch? Yes. Yeah, he King makes Ranch. a whole lot more money than I do. This is a King <laughs> Ranch. But anyway, um, we don't want to do anything like this. It's got a great dash on it. We don't want to screw anything in here. We got leather. We don't want to damage any of that. So we're going to go the easy option and just uh, put a mount here. So. Uh, let's see what it's going to take to plug this thing in. This is going to be the first step here. I think this has got like a little protective film here. It does. All right. So this is pretty simple, Josh. Um, this just slides right in there. And then once we put it in and adjust it, you'll never have to fool with it again. As far as doing one of these cameras, this is my third install of one of these. And honest to goodness, this is, I think, going to be the simplest one I've ever done. And it's pretty simple. This is keyed and it just slides in right like that, and then we'll adjust the height. So there's just not a whole lot to it. Incredible. So what I would suggest is that this thing is a little tight for the first time doing this. Oh, we're gonna have to actually turn it around the other way. Okay, and I would set this to where, and we'll tighten it up. So something like about like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip that up with my hand. Oh man, that thing is really sticking. Boom, there it is. And then back behind here is a little, just a little neural knob that I'm gonna tighten. So if it ever loosens from the vibration, you'll you'll know what to do. And then, I don't know, can you reach there? You see that one right there? Turn that one to tighten it and I'll hold it square. Give it a good, good finger tie. There you go. There you go. Look at that. So if that ever loosens up, 
just reach up and do it and do it like that. So this, and then they provide us with a um, a little uh, a little adapter plug here. They've got this this monitor is the same identical monitor that I use with my RD7. So um, it it comes with extra cables when you get the RD7 kit that you can wire it in so that you can have left right blinkers and things like that for side marker cameras. So for this one, it comes with this little adapter, and we do this one time. You never have to fool with it again. And then this plugs in like so. I'll just leave that tied up there so you won't have a whole bunch extra. And then it goes in just like that. Um, we'll take the antenna and screw it on. Because as you see, there's just no external wiring that we have to do in any of this installation. It's uh, and we kind of... all right. So it's pretty simple uh, as far as mounting this, and you've got you know you can turn it just a little bit toward you, and of course you know if Julie wants to look in the back, or you can want to keep your eyes on the road. Um, it does take a little bit away from your dash view, but not bad. I mean, you can still see your corners and. Right. Um, and, and, and look, I had mine mounted up here for a while, and then I moved mine down here. Of course, I've got a different dash set up than you do. I think the biggest issue is probably after you travel with a little bit, you may have to go back here and tighten these things a little bit. Okay. This is uh, the actual camera system here, and uh, I showed this uh, on the video earlier when I did the unboxing. One of the things that you'll notice here is there's a little window. I'm not sure if it'll show up in the video, but there's four LEDs, and this is where you'll plug in the adapter to a charge it right here. And uh, once all four LEDs go completely solid, you'll, you know, the lowest charge will be the first one flashes, second, third, fourth. And when all four go solid, this battery has been completely charged up. So, uh, and it's not much to be able to set it up. Now, the nice thing about this too, when I did my cameras, I had to run into the back and set them up for pairing, then run back up here to the monitor and pair it. The nice thing is we can do it right here in the front of the truck. And once we pair it, this is a one-time thing. You won't have to do this ever again. It remembers the pair, and that's really, really nice. So I'm going to take this and put the antenna on it, and uh, let's do some powering. So, Josh, if you look down here, we plug this in. You've got a power button here, and that's all I use on mine once, once I set this up. And then if you look here on the monitor, there's a power button, and uh, we'll turn that power on. Now, nothing has been paired as of yet. So if you'll back up just a little bit, uh, we're going to put this in menu mode. And then we will find pairing, and that's that option right here. So we're going to go over here to pairing. So simple. Tell it OK. And it's looking for a pair. I'm going to take this camera now, and I'm going to power it on. I'm going to power it on. And we are paired. It was that quick. Now, if you'll notice, it's making some racket right now because this actually has a speaker in it. How cool is that? So it literally comes up that quick. There's Josh filming me, all right? And uh, all we have to do now is mount it. Now, this took absolutely, without camera and everything else, it probably took us, just to get to this part of the install, maybe 10 minutes at most? 10 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right, let's go back in the back and we'll mount it. All right, Josh, we're going to go ahead and mount this metal plate right here. And one of the things that we're having to do, this has a bit of a ripple in it. So if you'll notice, we put like this uh, 3M sticky tape to kind of fill in that void. That was not supplied. You get one shot at this. When it sticks, you better make sure you want it where you want it. You'll also notice that I put some little teeny lips. Is that necessary? I don't know. Uh, we've got two of these plates. We're going to do it with this one. And uh, just to you know, keep any vibration, this thing really sticks. And uh, I think we'll be fine with this thing like this. All right, Josh, if you'll let me have that, we'll stick it on. Let's see. I don't know where we want to adjust it. Boom, there it is. 
All right, let's see what it looks like. Josh, there's your angle that we currently have that you'll notice it's right there. Look at the signal, how clear that is. Yeah, the picture is incredible. It's, it's incredible. It's really amazing. So uh, I'll let you go back there. I don't know what, right now it's kind of set up in rear view mirror mode. Uh, we can lower lower it to some degree uh, if, if you need to, if you want to look and see what that looks like. Okay, great. It's very, very easy to be able to adjust this angle. Um, you could just move it up or down and it's just super easy. It just snaps up or down and it's very, very positive to be able to do that. So, um, you know, you can set your angle where it would be very high looking out in that direction, like a rear view mirror, or you can move it down like we did using it more for kind of part rear view mirror and part parking mode. So I think that's going to be very beneficial. So Josh, what I'll do is I'll walk to the back of the camper and I'll just show in my hand how many feet I am from your rear view camera. And then you can determine if that's, you know, the look that you want from the camera. Okay. Sounds great. Then. All right. Okay. The view that you can see with Jerry here, he is two feet behind the camper currently with the way that we have the camera set up. Now, as you can see, Jerry, he is six feet behind the camper, and you can see the view uh, from six feet with the, the angle that we have the camera set up at. And now, currently, he's at 10 feet behind the camera, and you can see the, the red, the yellow, and the green, just like many of your rear view cameras that you have on your cars and trucks these days, um, they kind of give you an idea of, of the range of how far you are from an object. So you saw me under the bumper. You saw me probably about two feet back. Then I went about six, then I went 10. Does that give you the look that you're looking for? Yeah, that's great. All that's right, fantastic. Perfect, perfect. Well, Josh, what do you think? It took us, what, maybe 30 minutes to get that thing put on? Yeah, 30 if minutes. If that, yeah, if definitely. that, it was just super, super simple. Um, you know, stick it to the window, stick it to the back, uh, push the power button, remember to charge the battery beforehand. And uh, it's just super easy. I got to tell you, this is the simplest one. When I put it on mine with the amplifier, mm -hmm. It took me about eight hours. Wow. <laughs> and this is, now this is not going to be the application for everyone, but uh, you'll notice this had the aluminum siding on the back and uh, we mounted the plate back there. They sent us an extra plate. If you ever want to change positions, you can do that. And, um, you know, the nice thing about it is that you can take it off your windshield when you're not traveling. You don't travel as much as Joan and I do. And, of course, you'll have the unit back in the back, and it'll be ready for you to go. Definitely. It's pretty cool. And it paired super easy. Oh, it? yeah. It took a second for it to pair. It was yeah. really – and the nice thing, too, is once it's paired, you never have to go through that again. So it can Fantastic. power down, power back up. It's really, really good. Well, I would like to thank Halo View for uh, providing this product for our review. And, uh, Josh, I imagine you'd like thank to thank Halo View as well. Yes, thank you, Halo View. We appreciate you. Well, we love doing these types of product reviews. I will put links at ilovervlife.com for this blog. You can also look at the description below on where you can acquire this and get the pricing. I'm not going to put pricing uh, in this video because prices fluctuate over time, but you can go to their website and buy it. I think you can also buy this off of Amazon as well, but we've been buying ours a direct link through the Halo View website, and it's a lot quicker shipping and those types of things like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we do this for one reason, don't we, Josh? Right. I love RV life. Ah, uh, we do love RV life. Mm -hmm.